salmon. Okay, there it's up. Oh, wow. Hey guys, welcome to Tarpa Fishing and today we're going to do how to make soft plastics. Because a lot of people have been asking, we made our own soft plastic lures at the start, now we've gone on to some commercial lures but we still use these quite a bit and they're pretty effective. But and they're so much cheaper than the commercial stuff. So. Yeah, you're paying, I think even we, if we're going for a commercial site, which we'll put the link, I don't know, an annotation up the corner or something. And the molds are about 15 bucks each, and but once you buy a few molds, you won't need to ever buy any again. These will last a lifetime. And then it's just a matter of buying your preferred type of plastic. We'll make, show you how to mix the plastic up right now. And um, plastic's cheap as hell as well, so um, it's a great way of making lures. Name a colour and they do it like you've got here. Faded bronze colour that you've That's seen a few years Iridescent like. kiwi, the best colour I reckon. So if you're, if you're looking for the best colour, this is definitely the colour. We've got Lockie Cotter Jewfish on this colour and the Wriggler. And we've got pink, that's also a great colour. We've caught a few ladies on that. But yeah, we'll show you how to mix up the plastics now. Definitely. Alright, step one, you get your plastic. This is medium. Um, you can much shake it before use. You can like experiment with hard or soft. Create a different type of plastic, pretty much more action, less action, more durable. But pretty much you want to pour it as much as you want. So let's say about 100 mils is more than enough for a couple of plastics. I think from memory 100 mils makes about 10 little 80 mil wrigglers. Yeah, something like that. But pretty much put 10 in there, 100 mils there, and then put it in the microwave for... You, want to, you don't want to put it all in one hit because otherwise it just burns and smokes everywhere and it's crappy. So, 45 should be enough to start and have a, an old knife ready that your parents don't care about like this. Yep. A really bad knife that nobody cares about. Alright, so it's been in for 45 seconds. You want to mix it. Yep, that should be enough. And then back in for 35. Right now it's been here for 35. It's starting to get clear, you can probably see, but you want it to be almost completely clear before you start adding colours. So this time back in for 25 from memory. My two doesn't work on my thing, so it's oh. 30. <laughs> yes, it's getting clear. Alright, that's clear, and an important thing is you want to do it in a really well ventilated area because the fumes do smell like crap. Yeah, it smells completely clear. So that's we've got the door open, there's a little lot of draft coming through there. We do one more because you want it to get into kind of a maple syrupy mixture. Like you don't want it, you don't want it like this, this is pretty much just water look. Or you could just leave it to cool down for I don't know. That's probably pretty good I actually. Yeah now it's cooling down a fair bit. So now you add your colours. As you can see this is only like Probably a third of the colours that you can get. Oh, you got your pinks, pinks, silver glitter. That's the fabled iridescent kiwi colour. That one there. You got purple glitter, gold glitter, white. I think that's black. Yep. And some kind of right, bright red colour. You got your green. And then after you coloured them and Look. set all the lures, you put them just leftovers in Ziploc bags. Good idea. So you don't waste so you anything. So you don't waste anything. You and then reuse these. you can dip them. This is a scent. These are all scents. So you dip, dip your lures in there, shake all the crap off, and leave them to dry on some paper towel. And they smell like garlic, garlic, and, garlic a seed. and a seed. I can't remember what that one is. I think that's another garlic in the red, actually. Yes. Anyway. Alright, now I'm going to add the colour. You do not want too much. Like, pretty much a tap, a pinch. That's enough to start with. You want to mix it in. We might add a bit of silver, just for the flashes in this clear weather. Again, but there's like, well maybe not thousands, but hundreds of colours and other additives that you can put in. I think there's even glow in the dark stuff and maybe even a few holographic things. And you want to overfill your lure moulds just a little bit because the plastic does shrink in the mould as it cools. That's a bit better.
You can always trim these up with scissors later, so we'll show you that in a sec as well. It's, yeah, because you're never going to really get no excess. It is, I've known Unless this you're in six pro. Months. I've known this in six months, so. So now you want to leave them to set for about 10 minutes in the mold and then take them out and let them sit for maybe another five minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes. So you just take them out one by one. And that's looking pretty sweet already. And then with scissors, you just trim the excess off those sides there and that little bit on the tail. And then rig that on a little one quarter or one eighth jig head for however deep you want to fish. And that's looking pretty good as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh man, it smells terrible. But you can dip your head or a tail, I think this time we'll do the tail. Just dip it in there. Look at that. See how the tail's just gone yellow? So there you go, and that will stink once it sets. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Oh, it smells. Can you smell it? It smells terrible. That's how you make lures, and thanks for watching Tidal Fishing TV.